Well, this is an unusual scene, OG Gaming doing a video. Um, I haven't really been recording much recently, and I uh, do apologise for that. I've been doing better things, like absolutely fuck all, sat on PlayStation all day, and probably had the time to do a video. So, um, d d yeah, I've been pretty busy not doing any videos, and... Um, I guess I'll just bring you some uh, random shit because I need to get a video out there to keep my channel alive. Um, at this point, I have no video ideas, so uh, if you guys want me to do a Q&A or some shit like that, post some comments or something, or funniest comment wins or something, but I'm looking for some sort of uh, some sort of content here, so uh, I'm just going to put a video out of random shit that I hate. So uh, yeah, that's what this video is going to be today. Top 10 things that OG Gaming absolutely hates, like, in the world. Um, I guess we'll go with uh, number one, which is uh, people who uh, snarl at you when you're recording while out. Now, um, yeah, it looks weird that you have a uh, camera and uh, you're talking to your phone or your GoPro. I mean, it's nice to have a casual chat with your GoPro, catch up, ask him how he's doing. Uh, ask him if he's uh, eating well, you know, his storage. Um, but uh, I absolutely hate it when uh, people give you that look when you're recording, as if to say you're a fucking disgrace. Like, please, for fuck's sake. I'm recording my face, not you. I would never record you. Like, don't give me that look as if to say, why are you recording me? You're just looking for confrontation, you bitch. Another thing that... um. I really annoy as well going off that point is people who look for confrontation I mean for fuck's sake um, some of my comment sections in my streams are honestly just people looking for confrontation uh, I mean like honest like I, I know this video is unscripted I know I know I'm sorry guys I just had to push some sort of content out there but you know um, this happens a lot as well on Instagram and snapchat people just like, you know, that people just, like, message each other and comment on people's YouTube channels and stuff just to cause confrontation. And, I mean, it's toxic as fuck, and I hate that. I hate that people can do that. Like, honestly, it, oh, God, I... Please, if you are one of them people who goes out of their way to look for confrontation when, um, when you're online, please kindly fuck off, because... You're just not the type of person that I would genuinely have a conversation with or talk to or ever associate with. So, yeah, just please, if you're one of them people, stop. It's for your own good. I mean, jeez. Um, something else that I uh, hate is um, the people who uh, post shit on their stories about, you know, oh, rape me. Um, X for a line and shit like that. It's not necessarily the people. It's just the thing in general. Like, I mean, not to attack anyone who does it, and I'm not, but I think that's kind of attention-seeking. I think you're just asking for people to message you because no one messages you in the first place. Like, honestly, I mean, I'm not saying it should stop, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, and I know that... Um, a few of my mates have done it, and I don't hate them for it. I'm just saying, it kind of gets annoying when it's, like, the only thing you ever post on your story looking... Because you're kind of looking for someone to talk to you, because your inbox is pretty much empty. And I'm kind of the same. The only time someone talks to me is when they want to randomly start a confrontation on me, going to quickly back to that point. But, um... I mean, please, God, the people who do this, I'm not asking you to stop. I'm just asking you to not do it so often, because... You look like an attention seeker, and I mean, p just, just stop, just stop. Another thing that really, and like, it doesn't annoy me, it kind of like, it just gets on, like, it doesn't get on my nerves, it, it, it kind of like, it just kind of makes me go, off oh, for fuck's sake, at it again, is the people who put on their Instagram story, you know how Instagram has this voting thing, yeah, put on their Instagram story, and uh, put... The vote with the heart eyes or the vomit emoji. Like, I mean, the the first thing that anyone is going to do is probably put the vomit emoji just to really, you know, 
get at you. That's the first thing someone's going to do. And honestly, th that is the definition of looking for attention. You are looking for... That is the definition of looking for attention. And I know people will say, Well, you do YouTube videos. Isn't that looking for attention? And some of the stuff you make YouTube videos about, isn't that looking for attention? No, that's just me making content because I need to make fucking content because if I don't make content, my channel will die. And for fuck's sake, I love this channel like it's my fucking brother. Okay, maybe that was a bit, um, that was a bit violent. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I do apologize. I will, uh, I will never have an outburst like that again. I'm sure that was a whole lot of distortion and I'm very sorry for that, but my mic is shit. Uh, when the YouTube ad revenue starts rolling in, I uh, I will probably get a better mic. But let's face it, the YouTube ad revenue will never roll in. Thank you guys for f subscribing, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I know I've stuck to kind of um, Snapchat and Instagram attention seekers, but... Um, the, another thing that really annoys me is uh, toxic kids in games. I mean, for God's sake, t 12 year olds, man, in games, they, like, the one, the only insult they have is, uh, you're gay, or anything to do with being homosexual, like, there's no problem with it, and by the time this kid's about 16, he might even turn out to be gay himself, and he'll realise, like, what he's done, so if you are one of them kids and you watch my videos, like, Thank you for watching my videos and being there for me. But if you are one of my kids, please, God, I know you're 12, but fucking grow up. When I was 12, well, when I was 12 about four years ago, I wasn't as toxic as some of these kids were now. I was a bit toxic. I was an angry fucker, obviously. But um, I actually had some sense of fucking respect. And that's what annoys me as well. The kids who just don't have respect. The kids who'll message you straight up having not even spoke to you ever in your life, they'll message you saying you're ugly and shit like that. Like, they don't know who they're dealing with. I might be a fucking midget, but that midget might pack a punch. Trust me. Like, I, like that's what some people don't understand. Some people mess with people smaller than them, but like, later on, that smaller person will just beat the shit out of them or just completely fucking own them. Like... That's what bigger people need to understand. Us midgets, we may not pack the size, but we pack the punch. Like, we might give up for our small, our, our midgetness with the power we have in the punch. Like, like midgets, midgets need to protect themselves. So midgets have evolved to have a strong punch. So, um, yeah, that's another thing that annoys me. People who... Uh, Mess with the people who they think are weaker than them. Like, I mean, I might not be physically stronger, but trust me, I'm mentally stronger. I, I, I could mentally destroy you if I wanted to, but I'm nice enough of a person not to do that. So, um, yeah, if you are one of them people, that was a bit of a knuckle crack for you. I hope that picked up on the mic, and I hope there's someone sat there cringing at that. Please. Because it'll get me views. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sat here right now doing this video. Um, I'm hungry as fuck. Um, this is just completely random. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for it. But uh, I needed to push out a video to keep my channel alive. And, um, yeah, so I'm sat here right now. Hungry as fuck. Thinking about toast. Might go get a bit of toast. If you want me to uh, stream me eating some toast, then... Um, I can do that. How long have I been recording for? 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> I, I do ramble on. Um, actually, Premier League. What I hate about the Premier League. I know I've touched on this in my uh, Everton video. Um, uh, I've touched on Premier League. But I've never really touched on what I hate about football. What I hate about football? Paul Pogba. Uh, Romelu Lukaku. Uh, who else do I hate? Um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, no, nah, I'm joking. What I hate about um, what I hate about football, fans who run on the pitch. Now I know it doesn't happen a lot in Premier League football because Premier League football kind of actually have respect for their 
for their um, clubs. But it, it, on the rare occasion that it does happen, it's fucking annoying. Because in England, if one does it, they all do it. And that happened a while ago at an Everton FA Cup match. Uh, when we had Roberto Martinez. Um, it happened... Um, Twice, actually. Well, it happened three times because we had a uh, a cat that decided to uh, run onto the pitch. But, um, yeah, it happened twice. Two dudes ran on the pitch. And it annoys me so much because, one, it costs the club. The club can get fined for people running on the pitch because it kind of... It doesn't show that there's a lack of security, but it makes the the, the club look like it has a lack of security. So the club get fined for you running on the pitch because the stewards weren't able to contain, well, quote, weren't able to contain the crowd. And that really just annoys me because the club is getting fined for your stupid actions or the person's stupid actions. Like, it really, really annoys me when people do this. Like, please, stop. Especially in the Sidemen match. Um, I know that didn't happen in the last Sidemen match, but in the Sidemen matches, like, before, when people, like, massive amounts of people that run on the pitch, they then can't do the, like, the, the, the ceremony, like, the, 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 tr- the trophy presentation and the ceremony, and that pisses me off, because they're doing this for charity, they've raised a lot of money for charity, and... People are just completely having, like, they've they even asked. They've asked on many times, do not run on the pitch. The clubs will not have us back if you run on the pitch. Because it's a lack of respect to the club. And it's a lack of respect to the YouTubers who have took the time to train for these matches. And, you know, like, play in them and raise for charity. Like, it, it, it oh, God, it really, I'm sorry, it really annoys me. When people run on the pitch, like, it's not so bad in Premier League, like, it annoys me a bit, but in a charity match, like, jeez, dude, jeez, like, oh my god, it's just so annoying, please, um, obviously we've, uh, also another thing that I want to touch on is obviously we've, uh, recently hit 100 subscribers, and I know I keep mentioning it, but... To me, it's quite big, because I started YouTube two years ago, and my channel was very small. Um, That was a text. Uh, I should have put my phone on silent before the... Why do I bother making videos? Because every time I get interrupted by either a phone or myself... I mean, jeez, uh, anyway, yeah, uh, I know I keep mentioning it, but we've recently hit 100 subscribers, and I started this channel two years ago, I was in year nine, I was a prepubescent teenage squeaky fuck, who didn't have a clue about editing, and winged every one of his videos, two years later, we have completely, in that time we've rebuilt the channel, Started over again, and um, we've also managed to still be winging videos after, yeah, a while. So yeah, I just want to thank uh, you guys for the support recently. The uh, the subscribers we've gained in the last couple of days. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of it's really cool actually um, that this uh, this has happened, but. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, I, you can tell I'm winging this video, can't you? I'm sorry, guys, I just had to get, um, I just had to, uh, get, um, you know, a video out there. So anyway, thank you guys for everything, it's been great. Thank you guys for the last two years, um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video whenever, whether it's a stream, whether it's a video, whether... You know, but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. It's been great knowing you guys, but OG is out for another video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.